I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the Drone Camps channel. I'm Justin Davis, and today we're gonna to talk about a TS-100 alternative. This is by Hacko, and I found this on Amazon.com. It's about half the price of the TS-100. Now, TS-100, if you don't know about it, is one of the favorite soldering irons out there right now in the FPV community, uh, mainly because it's temperature adjustable. You can use it with an XT60 connector, and uh, it's a very, very nice, hot and fast iron. Uh, a lot of reviewers really seem to like it a lot. And I've actually used one out in the field. A friend of mine has it. But one thing about that one kind of turned me off was the price. It was above $70 at the moment. And uh, I didn't want to pay close to what I paid for my original Hacko over there uh, for something that I could use in the field. I just wanted something simple. And uh, I wanted something that would be cost effective too. But would would last me a while. So I, I realized that Hacko had this FX901P and it's battery operated. So I can use my rechargeable batteries in here and I can get continuously up to two hours worth of use time. So this is nice. I don't have to have an extra 4S battery hanging off this or have a cable hanging off of it. I just pop the top, flip the switch and it's ready within about 40 seconds. So in under a minute, I can solder some wires that fell off my quad. Uh, it does happen a lot out in the field. Something like this will just kind of end your day. Now the FX901 does get over 600 degrees in temperature. Uh, so that's, that's totally fine for what I'm using it for. Most of the time I'm just doing standard solders out in the field. Uh, if you do have to fix something like an XT60 battery terminal, this will more than do that. Uh, it'll heat up. 12 gauge, uh, 10 gauge wire, no problem. Especially if you have a micro brushless out there and something like this happens, you can, you can make this repair really quick and you don't have to have a specific temperature adjustable iron to do that. Uh, even making some of the smaller solders on the boards and the flight controllers, if you had say a buzzer wire pop off, which happens from time to time, the tip that comes with this one is actually fine enough to be able to do flight controller repairs out in the field, which is really, really nice. Uh, because some of those wires are kind of small and some of the larger tips just seem to be a little bit bulky. Now you can get a larger tip for this one if you want to. These tips are about $25. I know the TS100 tips uh, for that particular iron, they're actually $14 to $15 depending on which tip you get. Uh, but this tip is really easy to remove. You just take this off right here, turn it to the right, this slides off and this comes right out. So pretty easy to put on a new tip. It just slides right back in, just like that. And the top goes back on. It turns to the left, and tightens up. Now there are some other options out there and some other really cheaper options than the FX901. And you know, you can, you can do that too, uh, but I think you kind of get what you pay for. Uh, all of my Hacko stuff, I even have the fume extractor over there. That has been a wonderful addition to my bench, um, keeping those fumes off the bench and out of my face because I do uh, soldering every day. Um, and the Hacko stuff just seems to have a, a good quality and it, and it seems to last. I have two of these stations now. Uh, also, if you take this FX901 out in the field, something handy to have out in the field in your box might be one of these, um, just so you can clean that tip off between use. Now, some of the other cheaper alternatives out there, they are cheaper and they take longer to heat up. So that's one consideration to, to think about when you grab one uh, that's maybe $10. There is a $20 Takumi. It's called a Takumi portable soldering iron. I'll show it on the screen here on GearBest. It takes three AA batteries. It has five-star reviews from most guys, uh, but that one takes 11 minutes to melt the solder putting the solder around the tip. I saw a demonstration of that on YouTube. That's a little bit long for me to wait, uh, especially if you want to get your quad back up in the air. Now, GearBest also has the TS100. I'll try to put a link down there below for you guys to check that one out. Uh, if you want to spend a little more money, I think that one's around the 60 to $70 range. Like I said, they reduced the price. Uh, also an alternative is a ready-made RC version on Amazon. I'll show that one on the screen here too. That one's a portable soldering iron that takes a XT60 uh, and a 3S LiPo. And the cool thing about that one is from ready-made is the fact that that one uses Hacko style replacement tips. I, I like the Hacko tips a lot. And the other alternative is from banggood.com. They have a $7 XT60 portable soldering iron that operates from 300 to 570 
two degrees Fahrenheit. So almost as hot as this iron, but uh, $7 kind of scares me at that point. I'm wondering what kind of quality I'm going to get for $7. Um, if I had one, I would definitely test that out for you guys. But let's go ahead and take the FX901 and uh, just heat up some solder. We'll put some solder on the tip and see how long it takes. We'll time it and see how long this takes to melt solder. Now, like I said, this one's advertised to do it in 40 seconds, so we'll see how long it actually takes. Go ahead and start the timer and turn on the iron. I've got just a little bit of solder around the tip, so we'll, we'll see how long it takes. So their advertised time was 40 seconds, and this one actually did it in less than 30 seconds. So that's that's pretty amazing. Now I have my little helping hands over here from Banggood that they sent me with a little USB fan hooked up to my laptop. This is kind of nice because it draws the smoke away from your face, uh, and it's way cheaper than buying a fume extractor. Uh, fume extractors can cost you up and upwards of $600 to $700. And I'm going to do a review on that coming up on the channel if you're interested in that. It's a, a great tool. If you solder every day like I do, it's a great tool to uh, keep it away from your face. So let's go ahead and do an experiment and see how long this takes. I already have the tip. Let's a little bit of solder on there. You want to start out with a little bit of solder and let's just see how long it takes for this wire to get hot enough to melt solder to it with this iron. It's just a standard size wire for XT60 to power your quad with. So it's already melted. So that's less than five seconds to tin up a, a wire for a battery connector. Not bad. I've got my little tool here. This is called the Mr. Jig, and this is really nice because it does hold XT30s, the smaller ones right here, and it holds an XT60 over on this side. Uh, and it holds those popular bullet connectors in, in a variety of sizes. So let's see how it solders up a little bit of solder to the positive terminal here on this battery connector here. Let's see how long it takes. It shouldn't take but a second to just heat all of that up. A little spillage there. You can suck that off with a, uh, a solder sucker. I've showed you guys those on the channel before. But that's pretty quick to heat solder. And let's 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 actually do an experiment. Let's let the solder cool off, and then let's see how long it takes to actually heat it back up. Because sometimes that takes a long time with some soldering irons. So we're gonna let that cool off. Okay. Now it looks like it should be nice and cool. So let's go ahead and reheat it like we we're gonna put our wire down in there. The little USB fan is working actually quite nice. It's the first time I've tried this USB fan. That's really quick. So nice and hot. I already have my wire tinned up, so I can just heat both of those up. Drop it in there. If I don't like it, I can go back and do it again. Heat the whole thing up. Let it go. That looks pretty tight. So for me, guys, the Hakko FX901 is it's going to be my go-to iron this year for portable field soldering. Um, I have a lot of situations where I'm trying to do a review, and I call it the reviewer's curse. Just something extraordinary happens and a wire pops off, or, um, or it's just a cold solder from the factory. It happens a lot of times when you're reviewing this cheap China stuff. So um, this is going to be great for me out in the field. And honestly, I don't need anything temperature adjustable, uh, mainly because I'm doing a lot of field soldering on typical parts, you know, XT60 connectors, uh, a buzzer wire back to a flight controller, or maybe something from my receiver or my VTX popped off. Um, so this will fix me in a pinch. It'll do those little tiny wires with this little tiny tip here, and it'll do the bigger wires for the battery wire. So, uh, and a 25 second heat up time is just fine. The TS100 does 15 seconds, but 10 more seconds and half the price, I'm probably going to stick with my FX901. 
I don't see any problem using this one. And uh, the cheaper ones out there, I don't know if I would trust those because honestly, uh, Hacko has been a reliable brand for me this year, uh, better than my Weller soldering irons in the past. I've been soldering over 10 years and Hacko seems to be kind of my go-to brand now. As you can see, I have two of these uh, desk models and they work great. So I also found another alternative for you guys. Um, I, I used Hobby Creek Helping Hands for a long time, this one back here. And that one is pretty expensive. I paid a lot of money for that one. Um, the GearBest alternative is way cheaper. The only drawback of this one is that it does have, it looks like heat shrink over top of the, <laughs> these um, connectors. So where you're gonna be holding stuff. You don't wanna use shrink tubing on these. You wanna take that off and put a silicone sleeve. So just go to the hardware store, recover these with some silicone tips like this Hobby Creek one has. Um, that's gonna be the better choice. But that is a cheap fix. Um, and you get a USB fan with it. With the Hobby Creek one, you have to buy it separately. So this is a kind of a nice combo right here for me. But that's it for soldering for now, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed checking out this Hacko FX 901 and some of the other alternatives out there besides the TS-100.